I'm going to talk about some of the very basic tools for doing work with bone. Now this looks like a lot, but this is actually the basics. One thing that you're going to want to get your hands on first off is a dissection set. This is just a very simple set. There are a couple of things missing out of this set right now and a couple of things that I had added. The things that are missing are in use in the buckets right now with the bones. But you want to get yourself scalpels, scissors, forceps, all sorts of little things. What I've added is just nail files and bobby pins, things that you might need, but you never know that you're going to need it until you actually have the situation where you need a bobby pin to slide into something to hold it together or move a little blob of goo. Sewing needles. They get into all of the very small cracks and crevices that the dental tools cannot get into, which leads us into the dental tools. You can get them very easily at most automotive repair shops. They're actually marketed for use in for cars and other auto stuff, but it is actually dental grade, so if you wanted to use it to clean your teeth, you could. These are a couple pairs of my forcep tweezers from my set. I use these all the time for various things. You'll also want some paint brushes. That's good for when you're getting inside of bones to wash out the dirt. Another thing for taking the dirt out of bones is some pipe cleaners. They get in really good to the tight bones because they are so such a small wire underneath that. It's like a bottle brush. You'll also want syringes and they're good for flushing out small holes and cavities as well. Elastic bands of various types and sizes for holding bones together when you're gluing them. Swiss Army knife. You never know when you're going to need to scrape off mummified flesh or drill a hole with the awl or anything really. Toothbrush. Pair of pliers. Now these pliers here, I use them for pulling mummified flesh. They have serrated tips. That way they get a real good hold onto the materials. As seen in some of my other videos, there's also the sharpened butter knife. It's not razor sharp anymore at this point, but it is still a really good scraper. Various crafting pliers. These ones don't have serrated tips, but they are, they're good for holding items. Now one of the things that I use a lot is this glue here. It's weld bond glue and it says bonds most anything and so far I found that to be true. It's a white glue that dries crystal clear and it's best thing I have ever used for bones. It seeps right into the pores and holds everything in place. So this is pretty much the standard tools. Other things that you will need that are a must for working with bones are hydrogen peroxide and chlorine bleach. You use those for sanitizing the bones. And I think that's all. I'll do another video later on on the actual taxidermy, preserving the flesh. I'm still learning that, so my basic equipment that I have is very, very limited. My main expertise right now is the cleaning of bones and making them into jewelry.